Welcome to the next tutorial of ethical hacking and penetration testing via Kali Linux. So in the previous tutorial, we learned as to what social engineering is, who was the best hacker of all time and how he normally used to go ahead and gather information. I'll, before I proceed with the types of social engineering, I'd like to give you a great example, famous example of Kevin Mitnick as to what he did once. He once, I won't name the company specifically because uh, it was uh, asked to go ahead and keep it anonymous, that's the reason. So what he did actually was that he went in some random telco company and telecom company and he told the security guard that I'm the new guy and I have not yet received the ID card. I will be receiving it by tomorrow because I have not submitted the photo. So the guard thought for a moment that maybe he's lying and he did not, uh, he was just trying to gain access. So the guard did not allow him inside the company. Uh, only authorized personals, uh, personals were allowed. So what then Kevin Mitnick did was that he went ahead and took the name of one of the managers in different department and told that he was uh, asked to go, uh, come there from that manager. He uh, The guard can go ahead and contact him if he wants. And Kevin Mitnick even went ahead and did a fake call and uh, he tried to even go ahead and convince uh, the guard that he was uh, working in that company. And later the guard sent him inside. He went ahead and gathered all the information that he needed and he already cheated, he cheated the whole company and then came outside. In uh, When you're trying to go ahead and social engineer your way through a company, you need to make sure uh, these few points. So uh, that uh, you need to be very confident in what you're talking about so that if the person in front of you tries to ask you any question, then you should not be hesitant. Like if he asks you, say for example, what's your company ID? And you don't even know what the company ID starts from. Then you don't need to be hesitant like, it should be you should not be hesitant like that uh, you should be confident even if you're giving him the wrong answer him or her the wrong answer you should be confident in whatever you tell else it will go ahead and blow up the whole thing that's the reason so you now there are a few important types of social engineering the first one is quid pro quo which means something for something then we have phishing phishing means fraudulently obtaining some private information and the term phishing came from uh, the normal uh, letter, uh, normal word which is phishing, F-I-S-H-I-N-G. So to give you a clear example of what phishing is, uh, just think about the normal uh, going on a boat and fishing. So what you do normally is you go ahead and take some kind of bait on your uh, fish hook and you just go and throw it inside the water. The fish come ahead and try to eat the bait and then you suddenly pull out uh, the bait so then you go ahead and catch the fish. Similar is fishing. You go ahead and give out some kind of bait to a person or lure him to your target. And once he reaches the target, he gains ahead. The, uh, he wins, goes ahead and tries to access his own uh, email ID or his website or uh, any random uh, website. Then you automatically have his ID. And later he cannot do anything about that. That's what phishing is. Then we have baiting again. The same word, uh, same thing, which is similar to a Trojan horse. That is a real world Trojan horse. The Trojan horse came from the old, uh, uh, it was, I believe, uh, Athens or it, it's a Greek term that there was, it was a famous battle of Troy that the Greeks, I believe the Greeks, I don't remember exactly, they went ahead and gave uh, a, a god gift uh, to uh, the Troy people and the Troy people then went ahead and uh, opened the uh, famous Trojan horse which was their god and later on there were all the people inside who went ahead and later captured the whole area who were uh, sitting inside the horse. It was a very big horse like uh, some kind of a building or something. I don't know exactly what it was but it's just a sto old story. So that's how what Trojan horse is. In real world, you go ahead and uh, Trojan horse. In the previous uh, um, days, what Trojan wa horse was exactly is that you go ahead and give out a gift to someone, and later on, when the person uh, uh, frankly accepts the gift, but when he tries to open that gift, it is not the gift; it is some kind of prank. The same thing is Trojan horse. You go ahead and send some kind of, let's say, for example, a PDF file or a MP3 file or video. You send a video through uh, WhatsApp, Facebook, or Gmail or any kind, any other email, and the person uh, frankly goes ahead and opens that. But when he opens that, he will just simply go, uh, won't find the thing that he wanted. But uh, in the background, your virus will be executed, and you will remotely have uh, the access to that specific computer. And that's how what baiting is, which uh, and I will be teaching you this in one of my tutorials later on. After that, we have pretexting, which is the invented scenario uh, that you go ahead and invent a scenario, and then you go ahead and try to save someone from that. And finally, we have a diversion theft, which is a con. 
So to explain in detail, I just go ahead and explain these everything in one line. Quid pro quo is something for something. You call random numbers at a company claiming to be from technical support. Eventually, you will reach someone with a legitimate problem. and you will be grateful they will be grateful that you called them back they will follow your instructions the attacker will then help the user but uh, will really have the victim type commands that will allow the attacker to install the malware that's what uh, it will be done in the background phishing is fraudulently obtaining private information that is uh, sending an email that looks like it came from a legitimate business and that requests some uh, verification of information and wants some of the consequences if not provided You usually get afraid, and you uh, the email that they have sent contains a link to a fraudulent web page that looks legitimate. The user then gives information to the social engineer, example eBay, uh, scam something that was happened recently. So uh, that's how it looks like. After that, we have spear phishing, specific phishing uh, that is email that that makes claims using your name, uh, and if anyone gets caught, then it's you. Uh, that means any other person acting on your behalf. then we have wishing uh, that is phone phishing uh, rogue interactive uh, voice system and calling a uh, bank to verify information and all those stuff and finally we have baiting uh, baiting is real world tro- trojan horse that uh, uses physical media it relies on greed and curiosity of the victim the attacker leaves a malware infected cd or usb drive in a location that is sure to be found found attacker then puts a legitimate or a curious label to gain interest So let's say, for example, you go ahead in a random company and you leave a pen drive over there named as Company Earnings 2009, and you leave it at the uh, company's elevator. So there may be some curious employee, or he may be a good Samaritan as well, that uh, you uh, who goes ahead and inserts the media knowingly or unknowingly uh, inside his computer, and later on he install installs a malware in the background. That's what it does. And we have pretexting that is. uh you need go ahead and do some prior research or set up to uh, establish some legitimate company and uh, you give out information that a user would normally di- not divulge in this technique is used to impersonate an authority and you use prepared que- answers to victims questions other than gather in- information example law enforcement enforcement for example the threat of alleged infraction to detain suspect for hold of for, for questioning or the better example would be let's say you get an email for uh, a signed up for a free credit report uh, that you have so uh, you see an unauthorized charge later on from another credit company so you call to dispute charged and uh, that was asked for your credit card number they insist that it was useless without the security code and later on they ask for your social security number then you go and talk to the fraud de- department at the bank and then you come to know that you were already duped uh, some minutes ago and finally we have a diversion theft that is a con uh, a con is to persuade or deliver a person that delivery is requested elsewhere that is around the corner when delivery is redirected attacker persuades delivery driver to unload delivery to the nearby address attacker parks security van outside a bank victims going to deposit money into a night safe are told that the night safe is out of order victims and give money to the attacker to put in the fake security van Most companies do not prepare employees for this type of attack and that's why they are fully vulnerable towards this type of it. So these are different ways of social engineering and always uh, need, you need to make uh, sure that no matter how much you go ahead and patch your uh, network or make your network secure you always need if you are in a company you always need to make sure that the employees of your company very much um, let's say uh, they know very well about these things or that someone may try to go ahead and gain information even the uh, concerned employee should not be allowed to go ahead and uh, take their own id cards outside the office the reason being that if someone else sees the id card the id number they may even go ahead and use that to go ahead and gather fake information about their own company so these are specific examples or types of social engineering so and it's not necessary that this may happen only when with hacking people may even try to con you where there is no hacking involved just by going ahead and gathering information and later that you may will come to know that you are the person who gave them the information and you will be the one behind it and that person may be long gone all the way so these are examples and that's it for this tutorial and the next tutorial i'll be teaching you about uh, ways to go ahead and prevent yourself uh, from uh, these types of fraud